Creepers, what's going on, Creepers? It's Clear Ski and I'm back. That's right, I'm coming to you guys today from a place that I've crept to many of times, and that is the beautiful Riverview Cemetery here in Southwest Portland. And I'm coming to you guys today from a place, like I said, that I've crept to many of times. So after this vlog, if you already haven't, you can go back, check out some of my previous vlogs that I've done from here, including the grave of Virgil Earp, the brother to Wyatt Earp. One of Oregon's very first and only grave robberies happened right here at Riverview. And an established brewer by the name of Henry Weinhard is also buried here. So if you haven't seen those videos after this video, go back, check those out leave a comment and I appreciate you guys tuning in as always but today I wanted to bring you guys something that I thought was super cool not only this beautiful cemetery but who is laid to rest here and the gentleman that I'm talking to you guys about is Lewis William Beck Jr. better known by his team members and players as Lou Beck that's right Mr. Lou Beck's final resting place is right behind you creepers and we're gonna go check that out today and then I'm gonna give you guys a little bit more information about what Lou accomplished in his life we're gonna check out his grave his headstone and then I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about what I thought was super cool not only is Lou from here originally but played three years with the Oregon State Beavers a college basketball team and in his senior year went off to World War II but accomplished a lot more in his life before he passed away. And we're gonna tell you guys a little bit about that right now. So let's go check this out. And like I always say, I really appreciate you guys tuning in and creeping with me and leaving comments like you guys do. And I really appreciate everybody that has sent a creeper over to the channel or that has been creeping since day one with me. So we're gonna check out Lou Beck's headstone here. And then I'm gonna give you guys a little bit more information about what he accomplished in his life. But if you guys can see right here is the final resting place for Mr. Lewis William Beck. So if you guys can see, William Beck was born, I'm sorry, Lewis William Beck was born April 9th of 1922 and unfortunately passed away from cancer on April 3rd of 1970. But Lewis accomplished so much in his basketball career, playing three seasons with the Oregon Beavers, which you guys can see, here's a screenshot that I took of Lou in his Oregon Beavers jersey playing guard. Now Lou stood six foot tall, so he wasn't really tall, but he was able to play sometimes point guard, mostly guard. And Lou was the recipient of a seven game sweep during the 1948 London games. And Lou was the, with, and with his teammates, was the recipient after that series of a gold medal. That's right, they won in a tremendous amount of points, the final score being 62 to 21 playing France with Lou Beck leading the team as the captain, went ahead and took home the gold. So that's incredible that a gold medalist is buried here at Riverview, not to mention Lou was third team all-star and had received all sorts of medals. Um, then he went on to play with the Phyllis 66ers, which later on, I believe, became the Philadelphia 76ers. But Lou, not only did he receive a gold medal, but when he passed away in 1970, the Oregon State Beavers continued to pay homage to his legacy by involving him and his name into the Most Outstanding Player Award, 
which was now giving to the newer re arrivals for Oregon State basketball. So Lou's memory was held by Oregon State for the gentleman that made it possible for newer players to receive the Outstanding Player Award, which I thought was incredible. So that was really cool of Oregon State to pay homage to him and such an incredible basketball player. Um, and then when Lou finally passed away um, in 1970, 10 years after Lou passed, which I felt was a little while, um, Oregon Hall of Fame inducted him as a Oregon Sports Hall of Famer. So not only is he an Olympic gold medalist, but a Oregon Sports Hall of Fame inductee. So I thought that was incredible. And I just love basketball so much. And this place is incredibly beautiful. So what a great story and connection to Portland. And if you guys can see his final resting place is backed up to this beautiful forest. With all kinds of beautiful creatures and birds chirping in the background. And they've even got a little bench here that you can rest on while you're paying your respects. But I really wanted to take you guys here today and show you something that I thought was incredibly cool. Like I said, not only do I love basketball, but the tie-in to Portland. So I really appreciate you guys joining me today. And if you haven't hit that thumbs up, now would be the time. And I really appreciate you guys for creeping as always. So one more time from the final resting place of Mr. Lewis William Beck Jr., better known as Lou Beck, a Olympic gold medalist and a Oregon Sports Hall of Famer. And with that being said, Creeper out for now. Peace, you guys.